Hello, Vesta. Oh, what's up, Ceres? How you doing? I'm doing fine, just securing the belt as usual. Oh, that's good. Also, um, I do want to tell you that I did find this weird thing. It looked like a satellite, and I think these two asteroids were playing with it and were throwing it at that red planet. You mean Mars, Moons, Phobos, and Deimos? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I don't like them very much. They're always causing trouble and are just very childish and annoying. I just hope that they can get humbled one day. Oh, I see. Well, anyways, I think I'm gonna hang out with the others and tell them about this. Alright, bud. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, Vesta. You wanna play cards with us? Sure thing. Oh, by the way, I do want to tell you guys something. What is it? So, I saw this satellite and these two moons that look like asteroids, and they were throwing it at that red planet. Did any of you three also saw them too? Uh, not really. Actually, I think I might have. The last time I saw them though, they looked so small compared to most of us asteroids. Sheesh, no wonder why they act like that. They're so tiny compared to us. Yeah, you could be right about that. Come on, kid, lift harder! Uh, Dad, I, I don't want to do this. Don't talk back to me, you little rock. Now work harder, or I will crack you open. Uh, okay... D Diddy Mills, you're too hard on him. Me? Too hard on him? I was trying to help him learn to stand up for himself. But don't you think you're overworking him a bit? I mean, you can clearly see he's stressed out. Also, why are you two even in the asteroid belt anyway? Aren't you both near-Earth asteroids? That's none of your business, Miss Nosy. Okay, sheesh, just asking. This is Dad, please. I I'm getting tired from all this lifting. Can I just... You better stop talking back to me and get back to training right now, or I will make you want to run. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna go for now. Bye. <sighs> Freaking morons. Mom, why is he so rude and abusive? I, I just don't know, Dacto. I really don't know. Anyways, do you want to hang out with the other asteroids? Sure. Uh, hey Pluto. What's up, Sharon? Can we actually go and explore the Kuiper Belt and see the other dwarf planets? You know, Sharon, I was actually thinking of doing that too, so yeah, sure. Oh, and Sharon, there's something interesting that I do want you to know. What is it, Pluto? So, I remember Eris actually told me this before, but there's actually theories that there could have been another planet in the solar system that was ejected far beyond the Kuiper Belt a long time ago. I believe his name was Planet Nine or something like that. Oh, that actually sounds pretty interesting. Yeah, so I'm just saying we should probably be cautious out here when exploring since there's a chance that we might actually run into him. Pluto, wait. I think I see some other dwarf planets over there. Hey, um, you're Make Make, right? Well, yeah, duh. Who else would I be? And who's that actually dwarf planet? Oh. That's Halmea. 
And let's just say he's quite unbearable and annoying, honestly. <laughs> he's such a good friend, not good, not good. <laughs> Uh, okay? By the way, I've heard quite a bit about you, Pluto. What do you mean? Don't you remember? You were that one Kuiper Belt object that was formerly considered the ninth planet before you were reclassified? Oh, yeah, right. I still can't forget about that, honestly. How'd you even know? I mean, I, along with Eris, were basically one of the reasons why you were reclassified to a dwarf planet in the first place, and I also remember hearing you and Eris talking about your status once, so that's pretty much how I know, basically. Oh, I see. Well, we're gonna continue exploring the Kuiper Belt, so I think we can conclude our conversation here. See ya. <laughs> he has a heart. <laughs> Shut up, Helmia. Hey, Eris. Oh, hi, Pluto and Sharon. What are you two doing all the way out here? Well, we were just exploring the Kuiper Belt, and we saw you here, so we just decided to hang out. Say, you orbit pretty far out here. Well, yeah, I'm a scattered disk object, so I actually reside much farther out here than you do, Pluto. I also did find some of our dwarf planets out here, including one that has a very long orbit. She seems pretty lonely, but is always so happy all the time for some reason. Oh, that's quite odd. So, anyways, you want to go hang out with me and Sharon in my orbit for a while? Yeah, sure thing. <laughs>